Uh, it's kind of neat though that you can do that. It's just hard. What ones do you have? That's cool. I don't know how I would have done got that three, without having five, and seven. Sorry, what? Can you pop the map uh, for a second? Yeah, let's check it. Let's check. It. I had to think for a second. Three corners. <laughs> oh yeah. Three, five, seven. So, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, wow, okay. Yeah. So I'll tell you right now, you can't do five without doing three. Yep. And then seven should probably And you can't do seven without doing five or three. So mm. you're locked into order for the rest of this, basically. Okay, well, at least it's yep. in the order of most difficult to least. Or least difficult the most, sorry. Well, you don't have to beat five to do seven, but you still need three no matter what. All right, boom, uh, boom. I have some ideas then. Let's go ahead and warp back. So here's the question now. Um, there's some side things you can do. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can go look for some more pieces of heart. <laughs> I want to go grab a fairy first and foremost, just so I have it. Okay. Better than not. Oh, sorry. You are invincible. Don't worry. Uh, they really do just make me go from like zero to tilted in like one second. I need to hop off in 15 minutes to start getting set up for movie night. No problem. So uh, I was right, gonna then. suggest that we stop soon anyway. Okay, that works out. Sounds good. Good, good, good. Yawa, yawa, yawa. I will say there's. I will say that one thing in design that they were really smart was making the Pegasus boots not an equipped item and just making it a button. Oh yeah. Because like they knew that everyone would be like, oh my god, an item that makes you move fast. Yes, please. Yeah, that's the one thing I hated about Link's Awakening. Ah. But like, what could they do? It was the Game Boy. Yeah. <laughs> it was very limited in buttons. Boo -boo -boo. Boo -boo. Not the beat. Not oh. the beat. Not the beat. No. We have come too far to lose that guy. I still have the life yeah. savings of many people carried in my pockets. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think right now. I think you have everything you need to get everything else in the game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So I think right now you can get all the heart pieces, you can get your remaining equipment pieces. Wait, no, no. Push me back <laughs> oh, in! Oh, that was weird. Well, I mean, you wanted the fairy. Mm. I did. I don't know why you're warping nonstop. Oh, warp. I, I, I thought I had to go in here. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that. Like, I, was I can't believe the thing I'm standing right next to. I can't use it till I walk through something else. <laughs> there you go. Spears. Potentially. Potentially. Oh, Thank you. There it is. Something in particular here. Do, do, I never did finish. Let's reset this room anyway. Oh, but no. I'm trying to think of all the rest of the remaining stoops. There's the two there. There's the one there. There's that one. Ah! Ha 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 I will say one criticism that I do have with this game that I, I really do maintain. I think this game has kind of a bad art style where it is hard to tell what's actually going on at times and it's really easy to misinterpret sprites and there's also things that just look really wonky where like they're supposed to look serious but they look really silly. I think you're crazy. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. in the intro I couldn't tell the king was supposed to be a skeleton, I just thought he looked weird. And like, everyone misinterprets Aghanim's sprite and think he looks like Isun from Okami with long fingers. Well, Isun didn't exist for like 20 years. Well, no, I, so. I know that Isun didn't I just am saying that's like the mo that's the closest point of reference I have to get it across. Like, gotcha. You know what? I will show you what I'm talking about. I so, this is how I interpret Agonist, right? This is how so many people interpreted it. See? Oh, uh, yeah. I can see that. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I have been, I've misinterpreted a lot of sprites in this game, and I think like a so, lot yeah. a lot of sprites look really silly. Actually, well, well. the funny thing is, if you look at his head in the proper proportion to a sprite, it looks like he has, like, a very tall head mm -hmm. in the actual sprite. <laughs> yeah, he does. Like, cause he looks like his he looks like his forehead is... He looks like a cone head. Like, that's the only way that, like, that ring and, like, his headdress would fit on. Like, his face Man. is down at the bottom of his head, and then it just goes up for, like, a cone head style. Yeah, style. like, I do think this game has kind of a more art style. That is one thing that I do stand by, though, but... Now the music's better than I remember, the gameplay is mechanically very fun, uh, the Dark World thing is a lot cooler than I thought it would be, but I still maintain that I don't like the game's art style very much. 
Plus, there's also some really wonky palettes. Like, I don't even need to bring up the pink hair, but a lot of people like the pink hair at this point, so I think I'm kind of falling on deaf ears there. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, I just thought another one. Hmm. What should we get him to go? We got like 10 huh. minutes before we yeah, need to stop. Yeah, let's get like a hmm. piece of heart and then wrap it up there. All right. Uh, How about we get him the, uh, hmm, the stuff that's here that we were about to get earlier. The, oh, so the other half of that? Yeah. All right. Where do you want me to go off to? Go up to the portal in the Lost Woods. At least yeah. it's easy to get to now. We need you to be into... I, call, I keep calling it Bandit's Town, but it's... Let's just go back in here. The town of... <laughs> what is the name Thieves of the town? town no, yeah, I call it Thieves Town, but apparently it's something like Town of Outcasts or something like that. Oh, That's yeah, like right. Village of Outcasts, maybe? I think that's actually what it is, you're right. Either <laughs> way, get, get to the Dark World. Oh, oh, oh. I'm learning. Yep. Alright. Now remember how I told you you never went to the right of, uh... Of town? Town, yep. I actually did go to the right of town briefly in the dark world. I do not remember it, so it must have been ex yeah. insanely briefly. Well, last time he didn't have the gloves, so... Because I, I... Yeah, I didn't have the gloves. That was what it was. I checked this, and I was like, I should come back here later, and then I just kind of forgot about it. Okay. Let's check you. Nope. You're a chicken. Can I just say that finding out that it's pronounced Kuko ruined my life? <laughs> Why did that ruin your life? Because I pronounced it Kuku my entire life. Yeah, I still do, too. I say Kuko, or Kuku, or whatever. Yeah. I think I alternate. But I'm also known for saying bad pronunciations to mess with people, so maybe I'm not the best person You're to not the mention authority. that to. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> that was fun. Hooray! Hey -o. Catharsis. And there was one of them. Just right there in front of me. Yeah. That was the one I just thought of. <laughs> and no heal either. Nope. Well, I mean, you only have two damage. You're fine. No heal. Yeah. Oh. Yolf. Yeah, you're right. Not that often that that happens. Mm -hmm. I check anyway whenever I, whenever slang looks a little off, but it's really not that frequent. That's weird. Um, he has to do the other thing first. Oh, okay, the other thing. <laughs> yeah, the other thing. All right, so I'm not sure if we should be holding your hand this much on this one, but I'll just tell you, there's another thing you didn't do on the outskirts of town. Okay. In the interest of helping you out. Yeah, this is a thing. <laughs> this, to be fair, he's at the point, like, dungeon clearing wise, that he should have done this already. Yeah, true. Aha. Uh -huh. Froggy? Ribbit, ribbit, your body did not change. You're not just an ordinary guy, are you? I used to live in Kakariko Town. Wonder what my partner is doing. Oh, hello. Ribbit, I have a request to you. Please take me to my partner. Please, Ribbit, please. <laughs> we have a party member. Oh, yep. Hmm. Okay, let's get to a nice big open area and let's go to the space station mirror. The space station. And suddenly, oh, hey. suddenly he's grandpa. He sure is. He's a garden gnome. I like how home movies had garden gnomes in like every episode somewhere. Yeah, I didn't fun. realize that. It was kind of a little Easter. <laughs> like how Psych has a pineapple in everyone, and Clone High has a dolphin sound in everyone, or a dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> Drop dolphin. by here again. At that time, we will temper your sword perfectly. Hmm. Yay. Thank, thank, you, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Should I just leave and come back? Yep. Yep. Okay, I stop by another time, guys. Do it. Hey, hey you. you! Never Welcome. seen you before. Temper my sword. Ten rupees. I know. Wait a what a minute. discount. Yeah. We'll have to keep your sword for a while. How long? I wonder. Guess what? Until you no next... longer have a sword. Yeah. I can punch huh? people. Now you can pat the ground, pet the dogs. <laughs> oh, 
come back after, so it's not based on. Now this. to do the next dungeon. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sure speedrunners, like, in some capacity, do that. They're doing 100%. It's doable. But very. Ah! Running is a bad idea now. Mm hmm. May I ask what you're doing? Passing time. I don't know. Seeing how far you can get away from the thing and survive. Playing Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> yeah. Totally. <laughs> Can't do that sound. It's pretty close. <clears throat> I think just scrolling out and in basically does. I don't it. even think he has. I think if he just hops to the dark or in the well. Oh yeah, in the dark world and back. I think he's good now know. though. Your sword is tempered up. Now hold it. I thought he was telling me to wait. Great, your sword is stronger. You can feel <laughs> the sheer power flowing through your body. Hold it! Now you have... Hey, you're welcome. Temper so it again. Let me do it again. No. If you try to, I think he says uh, you can't temper it anymore. Yeah. So it is... Level three level three. sword. Yeah. It's all red. Yep. Yeah, now the tempered sword, which ups it's your quite attack nice. power. Man, they don't just let anyone temper the master sword in any modern game. Mm -hmm. That is true. Let's just wait to see what the next thing is you do to it. Yeah, um, so... Do me a solid, because you'll miss this otherwise, because it's weird. <laughs> I'm just, that's not a shot at you, that's just to state how it works. Go back into the dark world, go back to the portal you made earlier. Now go back up to that destroyed house that you we were confused about. Cool. Yeah. I had a feeling I do something. I think now it's there. Now it should be there. Yep, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Because the key is locked inside the chest, you can never open it. <laughs> Ouch. Just take it. Just take it, with, take it you. with you. Now you have a new friend. Chest. Chesty LaRue. Oh my. Gosh, there's some guy who does this. You can't yeah, enter there's something following you. Some guy. <laughs> yeah, now an NPC a long time ago told you about a master lockpick, or a master thief. You uh -oh. also can't run, by the way. Oh. Yeah, that's the shitty part. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, Get you, tried, you tried running again. I think. <laughs> what is this? What is what? It's uh, weird it's is what it chest. is. It's your new friend. You and Chesty are going to go on the great, greatest adventure of your lives. I was going to call him Casey, but okay. Casey also works. <laughs> Casey and the bee. I'm going to keep calling it Chesty, though. Chesty McChesterson. <laughs> so you cannot go in any doors with the chest. Uh, yeah, I know. No. Nope. If you drop it and then go in a door, I believe... <laughs> You lose it. I believe it warps right back to the dark world, yeah. So be careful. <laughs> uh, one word of advice. You can fly with the chest. I would not have yeah. expected that. That's why I'm telling you. I gotta be real, I don't have a clue at all where that NPC was or <laughs> what they said. <laughs> you do. Yeah, he's not Trust the most me. memorable guy, Trust really. me, you do. You you made him pretty memorable. <laughs> so it's Zelda. Yep. Well, shoot. The chest is full of scratchers. <laughs> <laughs> it's all her lost lottery tickets. Uh, all the ones yep. she failed on. This guy... <laughs> You cannot enter any caves. That, that should be a hint. Is the one. It uh, really isn't. Uh, <laughs> oh wow! I haven't a clue. <laughs> I really well, haven't a clue. It sounds well, familiar. Like it something. should, because it was ten minutes ago. What? Oh no. Oh, 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 no. oh. Back, what am I? Oh, good lord, <laughs> the nail. I really yeah, haven't a clue what you were saying. <laughs> like, when you said that, it sounded like something familiar that happened like a week ago. Do you want me to mm. point you in a number? I guess. Lucky. Yeah, lucky. lucky. 
guess I was just here. And west we forget. Oh, it's a very <laughs> okay. I, I'm sorry. All right, now we're just holding his hand. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> now we're just telling him what to do. I just know we got to be getting pretty close on time. So what? yeah, we got two minutes left before what? we got to start setting up. Yeah, that a dude in the forest told you that uh, <laughs> a former lockpick went south and retired. This is him. Did not wow. make the connection in the slightest. I'll open a chest for you. Yeah, that, that one I, I don't think else. I ever made that connection either when sure, I first I'll keep played. A from everyone. Tell it to everyone! Okay, that's the way you want it. I hope you drag that chest around forever. <laughs> <laughs> I did not mm. make that connection at all. Honestly, I thought this guy was going to be like, we play him a song and wake him up like the Poké Blues. No, I told you. That's why I kept telling you. He is awake. Oh. I was telling you that. And it was very scary. Bring the chest here. Yeah, it's secret for everybody. You might want to oh. kill some Get things. Get away first. from Jesus! It'd be hilarious if you died here. Oh man, yes it would. Mm-hmm. Promise not to tell. The fourth bottle. The magic bottle. Whoa, whoa. That they're Close all magic bottles. Which contains nothing. Let me whisper. Oh, you look at that green goo in it. No, that was just uh, the grass you were seeing through the bottle. That's kind yep. of neat. All right, now you got gotta, all the bottles. We gotta, we gotta have you set up. Yep. So I gotta go set up for a movie night for my subs. See ya. So, all right then. Are you guys gonna keep playing without me, or what are you doing? Uh, no. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll find a spot. Well, you know, if you two want to watch a movie with the Proton John, all you ooh. have to do is pledge $4.99 or <laughs> have Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime gives you a free one. Twitch Prime. Just in case like, you like, comment, and subscribe, please. Just in case you <laughs> didn't know, you can get Twitch Prime if you link your Amazon Prime account. Just in case no Twitch streamer has ever told you. I seriously did not put him up to this. I don't know why he's doing this. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of weird, actually. For someone who doesn't stream, he sure knows a lot about it. See you it. guys later. Woo.